happens if you have an algebraic fraction okay in an equation always make the left side you know a single algebraic fraction first okay unless you only have one algebraic fraction on left and right that will be the next question I will be talking about so for this the common denominator would be 2x minus 3 multiplied by x minus 1 so this guy must multiply by x minus 1 and this guy must multiply by 2x minus 3 be careful of this negative sign so because this negative sign is there it's always good to have this habit to write like this first 3 bracket 2x minus 3 equals to negative 1 you do this step you will not careless if you don't do this step you confirm will get careless okay then I open up the numerator minus 2 minus 6x plus 9 over 2x minus 3 x minus 1 equals to negative 1 okay so at this moment I will do a cross multiply of the denominator to this side In the numerator I also uh, simplify so 2x minus 6x or minus 4x plus 7 equals to negative 1 multiplied by 2x minus 3 x minus 1 okay so we let's expand our <coughs> Right side, minus 4x plus 7 will be equal to negative 1. Put outside first. Don't multiply inverse. If not, you will get very messy. Okay? Either you can do the double double rainbow method or you can do your multiplication frame as well. So 2x squared minus 3x minus 2x plus 3. I will have minus 4x plus 7 equals to negative 1. Still down there until you have make everything simplify all right then now we give the minus one to everybody on the right side square plus 5x minus 3 quadratic equation right side must be equals to zero bring everything to the left i will have 2x square okay minus 9x all right plus 10 equals to zero okay 2x square minus 9x plus 10 equals to zero okay so once you are here let's do a multiplication frame okay all right so i will have 2x squared is what i need and plus 10 the first guy and the last guy is always your objective 2x multiplied by x will give me 2x squared now what do i need to know see 10 is 5 times 2 to get 9, I, you must so your constant numbers must be there. To get 9, you know you need 5 and 4. So how do I get 4? 2x multiplied by 2. Okay, so the 5 will be here. 2x multiplied by 2, that will be 4x. This will be 5x minus minus. This must be your check, which is equal to negative 9x. And everything else works out. So this means that this is 2x minus 5. x minus 2 equals to 0 and after that we can say that 2x minus 5 equals to 0 or x minus 2 equals to 0 which means x equals to 5 over 2 or x equals to 2 okay so very common you will get a question like that when they ask you to solve with a algebraic fraction so always make the common denominator on the left side first if you have two algebraic fractions on one side then after that cross multiply and solve if you cannot solve the quadratic equation that means if you don't get a nice number it means that something is wrong okay then you have to look at it again especially when you have this sign here you didn't put you didn't do this then your this will not be the positive 9 okay so be careful now next one we are going to when you have one fraction on the left and one fraction on the right then it's very simple just cross multiply to him to him Okay, you have 12 times 5 is equal to x minus 1, x plus 3. Okay, 12 times 5, that will be 60, is equal to x squared, multiply to him, him to him, him to him, him to him, him to him, minus x plus 3x minus 3. Now in this case, because the x squared is positive on the here, I bring everything to the right side, 0 is equal to x squared, plus 2x, I combine already, minus 63. Rewrite everything to the left hand side, x squared plus 2x minus 63 equals to 0. Okay, 
Give me two factors of 63, that will be 7 and 9. So if you want to use your multiplication frame, this is quite straightforward because x times x, x squared. 7 times 9, 63. Okay, so you have 7x here, 9x here. You want to make 2x, so this will be minus, so here will be minus, here will be plus. So this will be x plus 9, x minus 7 equals to 0, x equals to negative 9, or x equals to 7. Not very good to write this way, so better to have one more step, which is x plus 9 equals to 0, or x minus 7 equals to 0 here. Then you can get the answer for proper presentation.